Hey guys, I want to show you how to populate, to fill this select field with CMS items. So here's the scenario. Let's say you're making a form and you've got this select field, you know, that's just where you drop it in here and you can pull it down. There's going to be a bunch of options. Now, normally what you do is you just fill it with whatever you want here. Here are your choices and you just add them in, whatever you want, and those are the choices that are gonna be there. But let's say you have a CMS collection and you want that collection to fill up this select field. So maybe I'm filling out this thing and I wanna set my favorite author and I've got a CMS collection like here where I've got a bunch of my favorite authors. How do I do that? Now, here's a little custom code and I wanna walk you through it. It's pretty simple, but here's how it goes. We're in here and let me just show you how this is set up. So I've just got a normal form here and then inside this form, I've got a collection and this collection is turned off. But inside this collection, we have one thing. We've just got a paragraph with a class of author and that's just linked up to that CMS collection of all those favorite authors. So that's hidden, it's on the page, but it's hidden. So the, there's still DOM elements there, it just has the CSS property of display none. So it's still there and you can still reference it and that's a super, super helpful thing. So now I've got that. And the other thing here is on my select field, I've got an ID called field. And that's everything we need to know to do this custom code. So let's open up this code and this is it right here. This is everything we're gonna need to know. So the first thing to do is to select the two things that we're gonna need to do stuff with. If you're not familiar with JavaScript or you would like a, a, some tutorials on that, let me know. I'd be happy to do that uh, because a little bit of JavaScript goes a really long way on the web. So the first thing is I want to select my select box right here. And that was that drop down thing that uh, had the uh, idea of field on it. Then I want to grab the CMS items that I want to dump into that select box. And if you're not familiar with uh, the select box, the, the structure, the tag structure of it, you've got a select box, which is the parent, and then each of the things is an option element, an option element. So it looks like this. And so there's my dog option, which is right here. So basically what I want to do is I want to grab that select box and I want to grab the authors. That's from that uh, the collection list. And so I'm grabbing each one of those and I'm query selecting all of them. So this is a collection of things. And then what I want to do is I just want to add them into here. So what I do is I go, I loop over this collection, this author's collection with the for each function and this is just ES6 syntax so this is just a function but it's shorter um, and here's what I'm going to do inside first I'm going to create an option element that's one of these guys and I am going to set the text to the inner text of each one of these things I'm looping over. So I'm going over each one of these authors, those paragraph tags with the actual authors inside. So the first author, then the second author. And for each one of those, for each one of those authors, I'm creating an option element, DOM element. Then I'm setting the text in each one of those uh, options to the text inside each of the CMS items, the paragraph. And then you have to set the value. It's important to know that uh, the value is what's actually being sent to your server. So wherever your form is going, the value is that actual field. So the text is uh, uh, just a thing to be able to read and to understand it. The value is the thing that gets sent along. Okay, so now I've got it for each one of these elements, I've got an option DOM element. I have the text, I have the value, and now I just need to dump it into my select box. So I've already grabbed my select box here, and now I'm gonna just use this nice function add, and what am I adding in? The option. So this happens for each one of those authors. So then I come over here, and if you see here, I've got nothing in here right now. 
And so let's just check it. There's nothing in. And then when I open it up here, boom, I've got all of my authors here. So when I select it and send it to the server, and whenever I add things into that CMS, it automatically gets updated. All right. If you guys have any uh, uh, questions about like custom code stuff um, in Webflow or not in Webflow, drop them down in the comments. I'd love to take a look, maybe make a tutorial on it. Let me know if you've got any questions on this and I'll see you later.